so uh hello and welcome back guys to the channel and um in this video guys i'm mainly going to be talking about uh trade management this will be like part two of the series but before we get into it make sure you subscribe if you haven't turn that bell button on for notifications and let's get into it so um in the last video about trade management we did speak about something uh called taking partials right because the overall schematic of the mmc footprint strategy is based on this thing here right we need to have first a structural impulse right structure um s and d and later the confirm right so if our structure is by far pushing bullish right and we have this break of structure right here we are basically going to be waiting for that pullback to happen to come and mitigate this uh, s and d zone left behind and once that mitigation is done and once that mitigation is done we can now then later confirm this serpent area here and give us the entry uh to take price bullish right so uh what we're going to look for is that you know like break of structure one giving the entry right and break two giving the second entry and then you know like holding the rest of the trade uh towards this high as the next um, liquidity run but right this whole thing happening doesn't necessarily assure you that price is going to make its way up here and through this area right the most probable move to happen is for price to come and take out this area but sometimes that doesn't happen and once that doesn't happen people end up taking losses that they didn't anticipate and you know like start doubting themselves that is this thing really working for me right they ignore every every um they ignore every resort that they they got while using this when it worked for them but you know those a uh, couple of times maybe two or three times a week when <clears throat> things didn't go as um when things didn't go um as anticipated then they end up doubting themselves you know and um furthermore you know even having a psychological uh, breakdown in trading so um what's this video is here for is to rectify that statement right making that right so so we can now uh you know like focus on the comfortable edge that we have so right um assuming that we're uh so uh what i wanted to speak about mostly today was this um scenario that that happens and you know um appears to have like a lot of impact um uh, in this in this whole schematic right because sometimes you can have like the same thing here right so we have um uh, a structural break right and um okay so let's do that a little bit no okay let's take that a little bit wide okay let's do it down here right you can have like a structural break like this and your s d zone and from that you're gonna wait for that pullback to happen and you know like give you a perfect entry with confirmation uh, in this area here but what what happens next is that prices you know like you're anticipating price to come here and take this high as its next liquidity run but instead what happens that price will necessarily go up you know like mitigate um a certain supply zone in here and from this area price will not price now reverses right with this break here and this break here right reverses and comes to take you out as well as takes this low out and once this scenario happens you're now wondering okay if you're somebody that has uh, a very poor risk management i would call it is now stranded why because you let your trade run from this area here until this area here where it was like you know like almost 95 percent there and just because that you didn't manage it very well you didn't set uh, your break even you didn't take any partials from this run once this change here happens once this reversal happens and takes you out with a loss you're now stranded and you know like you're now uh, you don't know what to do you're just there thinking that okay this strategy is not working for me this guy is a scam and etc but all that happened why because it's your own ignorance that led you there you didn't manage your trade very properly right and uh you you had like almost the profits and then you ended up with a loss that's very mind torturing right so i'm gonna give you one example of this and we'll be done for the day right i don't want to keep uh, this video very long but make sure you know like if you're going to screenshot or something make sure you have these schematics um you know there right because it's not cool guys it's not cool for this to happen and you you being caught in the middle so i remember this happened in this uh, i think it was a gold trade 
uh, yeah, it was right here, right? So we had this overall high time frame anticipation that, uh, let me hit play back to auto, boom, right? So we had this uh, reversal from here and I was looking at some reaction to happen from this SND zone, why? Because it, it was very strong. Lo and behold, what happened is that, um, what happened is that, um, okay, let's go back to the area here, right? Boom. So, assuming we were um, at this area here, right? So, what we had is this break. We had this break with a high and a low. Lo and behold, price made its pullback and then broke again, right? With this break here, with now a high and a low, right? Sorry, got a call there for a minute. So, with this being a high and a low, we now witness the what a change of character, right? breaking this high, meaning that, okay, we were now looking for potential entries to go bullish from this area. Why? Because there was a change of character happening within our zone, right? So, um, so, boom. so now we start considering from this area here, right? So boom, that's your break. And from that break, what do we have? An S&D zone, right? Lo and behold, uh, boom, right there. So that's your S&D zone. Confirmation was taken like in the 15 seconds chart. I'm not going to speak about that. It's, you know, like for the premium stuff. So boom, this was my entry. Uh, let's just make it as that entry there. And, you know, like looking to target this high and probably hold some more, right? So let's just take it at that. So that was the trade. And from this area, we had the same thing happening again, right? Boom, right? Another break here, right? So we now have what? Um, a break right the same thing i drew a break what what's next right s and d wait for that pullback to happen and take this price out with this as the next liquidity run lo and behold look at what happened right boom so price comes to our um our s and d zone right so i'm gonna keep this a little bit sideways boom right s and d zone let's say um, another entry here right boom um your stop loss below the low and you're looking to target the high there now lo and behold look at what this trade uh does right so so this would have been your trade right boom ended with a loss right but look at what happened price from the entry position yes came down took some liquidity below these lows right and then now started breaking going higher now from this area look at how price was close to our take profit target right so from this area to this high here that's um that's like 160 plus pips, right? So this is this is gold, right? Six hour USD in the five minute. It's 170 pips. So let's say you were using like um like just a small account, a hundred dollars maybe, and you used like a point one lot in there, right? So this is 170 dollars with poor risk management means that you saw 170 dollars coming your way, right, up until this high, and then leaving you ending up with a loss. This is already a mental breakdown for you, right? So in order to avoid this happening, this is where the part of risk management comes, right? So lo and behold, um, you have like your break one, right? Break here with this high, break again, right? With this high, you're waiting the break again here. So with this high, your trade comes at break even and you take like 40 or 50% here waiting for the next like 20 percent here and leaving 20 percent running right so that's how i do it right no financial advice anyway so i hope this video made a lot of sense to you guys and if it did make sure you like subscribe if you haven't turn that bell by notifications and until the next time guys stay safe and peace out